Hey everybody, welcome back to the Big Red EDC. Well, we've got another kind of Amazon knife to check out. This is the Lothar, there you go, Lothar Knives Seagull. Now, like I said, Lothar is an Amazon seller. They reached out here a while back and asked if I'd like to check out a knife. And I'm like, they sent me some pictures. I'm like, yeah, let's, let's give it a look. So, that's what we're going to do. Like I said, the Lothar Knives Seagull. Uh, carbon fiber handle. Um, not too bad on the grip. It's not super slick. It's It's got some decent grip to it. And, of course, I mean... Look right there. I mean, you got that pop of color around. You know that caught my attention. I mean, come on now. <laughs> the red pivot collar ring. Pivot collar, if you will. Open construction. Kind of looked at the centering. Pretty darn good. Not bad. Now, there's one thing I'm going to point out about this knife that is just pretty wild to me. Um, not quite a deep carry clip. It is right hand tip up carry only. You do have a lanyard hole. So there you go. Open construction. Everything's chamfered off. Really nice. Um, fit and finish. Seems to be pretty darn good on this one. Uh, it is a flipper tab. As you, There's the birdie. Look at the birdie. Um, people, I always do that. People say, now I can't get it out of my head. Well, sorry. Um, it is a seagull, so come on now. But there is a hole in the blade, and I tell you what, I have not figured out how to middle finger flick it because... This has a detent with the most pop I've ever felt on a knife. Now, I'm not saying it's too stiff because it's actually really nice on that flipper tab. Action's pretty decent. Pops out there really nice, but listen to this. You hear the pop of that detent? Wow. Wow. I have never, never heard a detent pop like that. But like I said, it's not overly, it's actually really nice. I really like the detent on this knife. Snaps out really good. It is a liner lock. Are we going to be able to see? Nah. That black on black. Um, when you do have full engagement, it's a little deep. It's a little deep. I'm trying, Sorry. Bad TV, I know. It is a little deep. Oh, there you go. There you can kind of see it. Oh, uh, well, that's not too bad. I'd say it's a good 50%, maybe even a little bit more. But solid. Oh, yeah. Solid. No wiggle, no wobble. Oily is all get out. This thing has been flinging oil. They, they lubed that pivot up. Pretty darn good. Now you've got a nice... Warning style blade here, kind of like a mad seagull, I guess. But very nice PVD coated D2 blade. There you go, D2 steel right there. You do have some jimping on the spine, which actually lands with me pretty good. It catches, ah, it's catching about the back half of my thumb for my grip. And there you go. I mean, we're looking my hand size. I can pretty much tell you that grip length is probably just a little over three and a half. But feels good in hand. Give you some specs on it real quick. Now I will leave you, I will leave a couple of well, I'll leave a link down there on Amazon. But when you go to check it out, there's actually this one, the seagull, and there's one called the Pestrel. Not the Kestrel, because there is a bird, but I believe it's Pestrel. Let's see here. Petrol, sorry, petrol. P-E-T-R-E-L. Petrol. Similar, same colorway as the Seagull. Slightly different blade. Different looking, different style handle. I like the looks of that one too. I might even like the looks of that one a little bit more than, you know, aesthetically as a Seagull. But they might be worth both checking out. And I may have to get one just to check it out because they're 30 bucks. Good deal. $29.99. Um, it doesn't look like there's any coupons or anything like that right now. Uh, they're in stock. Let's see. What about the petrol? Is it in stock? It is as well. Same price, $29.99. I might have to get one of those petrols just to check out. But, all right. Sorry. Back to the specs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. About seven and a half. You're looking at roughly pretty close to a four and a quarter inch handle. 
should be about a three and a quarter inch blade which it is full cutting edge and your choil is behind your plunge grind a little bit so you might end up with a smile and if you look at that it's kind of up you see how we we don't come back because as the blade widens out there so a little bit $30 knife okay I'm not too mad at it let's do the oh what's the, what's the grip length I've got to do matte, and it's not fully flat, and it keeps bouncing the, keeps bouncing around. Yeah, it's a little over three and a half. Not quite three and a quarter, three and five eighths. Right in there. So, because if it's three and a half, as you guys know, it's pretty much right at the end of my pinky. So, not bad. I like the way that feels. All right. Oh, my bad. My bad. Size comparison. What are you doing? Not doing size comparisons for the nice people. There you go. There you go. Zoom out just a little bit. Obviously, PM2 is a much larger knife. Where's the bug out hiding? Where's the bug out? There it is. Going to be a lot closer. Pretty darn close, as a matter of fact. Dang, you're right on, almost. Pretty good size comparison right there. Now, I'll give you a weight. That's how we do things here. All right. 2.3. I love it. Or 65 grams. Nice. Nice, lightweight carry. Now, I did say that the pocket clip was not deep carry, and it's not. It's not deep. It's not too bad. You do have a little bit sticking out of your pocket, about a half inch. You know, I do like the deep carry clips, but on this style of uh, yeah, with the lanyard hole, it'd be really hard for a deep carry clip. So, is what it is. No big deal. Overall, you know what? I'm kind of impressed with this one, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm not really mad about anything out about it. It, nice little knife, 30 bucks, not bad. Drop. But that's what I just can't, listen to that detent again. Ah, oh, that detent pops. So just... Let's see. Let's watch it. Whoa. Dang. It wants to go. Let's watch it. Snaps it right in. Yeah. I am... I'm, I'm kind of liking this. You've got, you know, a very... A pretty slender handle. Feels good in hand. That clip is not really an issue, which I was kind of surprised about as well. I feel it. I can definitely feel the clip um, a little bit. Not what I would consider a hot spot. If I bear down, I can feel it a little bit more. Still, not what I would consider a hot spot. Action's okay. It's got plenty of oil on it. We've seen that. Yeah, this thing's been throwing oil ever since I got it. But lubed up pretty good. Might clean it up and use your favorite, what, Slick em All, KPL, whatever you use. Give it a little work over. But overall, uh, yeah, I'm kind of impressed with it. Well built, fit and finish is pretty good. D2 steel, PVD coated, full carbon fiber for 30 bucks. Eh, might be worth checking out. I, You know, I think I am going to try that petrol though. It That looks pretty cool. I like the looks of it. I'll leave a link to the Seagull. They're both under the same listing. You can check them both out at the same time if you like. But 30 bucks. Not too bad. Thanks again to Lothar for sending these out. Greatly appreciate it. Oh, I do need to show you. It does come in. A, it does come in a nice little case. You do have a tool. You got cleaning cloth right there. So you get some goodies. You get your. I think you get your money's worth out of it. Absolutely. I don't see why not. Let me know what you think, guys. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, go check it out. Check out the link and check out the petrol. And tell me which one you think you. Like the looks of but better. You know? That's kind of cool. Let's do that. Take a look at it. See what you think. As always, guys, greatly appreciate you checking it out with me. Thanks again to Lothar for sending it out. As always, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Till next time, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.